If you have to factorize the four terms here, you clearly see that the first two terms are cube terms. 8 is a cube of 2, so it is overall written as 2x the whole cube. 27 is the cube of 3, so 3y the whole cube. Now let's have a look at the last two terms. If you see, the last two terms have very much in common. So 36 and 54 both come in the table of 18. So 18 is the highest common factor for 36 and 54. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 3 is 54. And if you look at the variable part, x squared y and xy squared, both of them have at least one x and one y in common. Therefore, 18xy happens to be the highest common factor for the last two terms. And then 18 times 2 is 36. One of the x and one of the y is outside. So we have one x remaining. So 2x is here. 18 into 3 is 54. We had two two y's here so only one of the y's is out 2x plus 3y if you'll see this we have something cube plus another term cubed plus 18 times xy now if you look at this term 18 xy i can represent 18 xy as three times the product of the two terms we got 2x and 3y note that we got the same two terms here so three times 2x times 3y is the other way i could represent 18 xy so if you'll see there is a pattern here we see the first term is cube a cube plus b cube plus three times a b times a plus b this is an identity for expanding a cubic binomial as in this is the expansion for a plus b the whole cube instead of a we have 2x instead of y we have 3y so 2x plus 3y the whole cube okay this is what is the factorized form we get for this question